So it's pretty simple, very beautiful song. And you're going to have three chord progression throughout the entire uh, track. So it's pretty straightforward. There's a little melody that you play, a little uh, riff running upwards, but that's about it. So the first chord we're going to be playing is a G sharp seven, G sharp B, D sharp, G sharp B, D sharp F sharp. That's your G minor. Sorry, G sharp seven. Next is your A major seventh, A, A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. Now you can also add the full chord in your left hand too. Just have uh, dual A major chords playing in uh, your hands. So A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, and G sharp. That's your second chord, and your fourth, uh, third chord is going to be a variation of uh, F sharp 7 with a flattened fifth uh, degree, but we're playing it over an A, or over A. So we're going to have the dissonant effect of A, A, C, E, and F sharp. Now a little side note, it's an F sharp minor chord uh, with a flattened five because at root position this is an f7 f sharp seven chord f sharp a c sharp e but we're inverting it in this case and this is the fifth degree right here this is your c sharp but we're dropping it so we have f sharp a c and e so we're just changing some of the starting pitches out and emphasizing this dissonant chord or dissonant effect towards the end. And that's pretty much it for the chord section. And you can also uh, just play the, think of it as an A minor with a raised uh, six if you want to. So the measures again. Now the little melody that we hear at the top or throughout the song is a step up or a couple steps up of G sharp, A, B, C sharp, B, A. Sorry. On the way down, you're going to be playing C sharp and A. Continuation of the A major chord. And then you're back to the F sharp. So adding in with the chord that we play, we play that melody after the G sharp seven chord. And you can also play it in both hands, 
like a scale. You hold that A and down to the uh, F sharp chord. So adding in the melody. Seems like you're ready.